Yeah, I would agree. I think there's also more scope in you know where we're going to target autophagy in that process. So not just within the tumor cells, as you say, within stromal cells and immune cells, but where in the pathway we can target it. So there's what's considered the kind of core autophagy machinery that would be involved in all aspects of autophagy regulation. And obviously, if we inhibit those components, we're going to inhibit autophagy, not just in the tumor, but in all cells in the body, right? So the other aspect or way to look at it is, okay, do we start and maybe target the initiation of the process or the end point of the process? Or maybe my view in particular, if we could highlight these things or if we could find out what they are, is target things that regulate the process and maybe regulate the process in a more specific way in the cancer or the associated cells around the cancer mm -hmm. than in perfectly normal tissue. And uh, I think that's a big goal. If we could find those regulators, they would be other targets and they're emerging. Uh, but that would give some cell activity the, to the process because it's definitely the case that inhibition of autophagy may well have detrimental effects in in other tissues, right? Right. particularly, uh, obviously, in, in neurons. Uh, drugs can be designed, of course, that don't cross the blood-brain barrier, yeah. which is quite easy. Uh, but there'll certainly be implications on other tissues. And then we need to have the questions about the length of time that we may want to inhibit autophagy. Do we want to do it right. in a protracted manner? Or perhaps more wisely, I would say, in a pulsed manner, mm -hmm. you know, a cyclical manner, mm -hmm. and then maybe it would be That's better. That's a very good point.